All right, guys, so now we're getting ready to leave. I mean, I'm doing to do my videos in separate pieces, but now we're in a Ferrari 3, 328 GTS. My buddy Jeff, one of my longtime friends at RTC, is gonna take us take us back to go get my car. I would have had to take an Uber back with, because you know, the dealership guys have an event to go to. So it's pretty cool. We get a ride in an, on, in an older Ferrari. You've seen this one. You guys have seen this one before. Let them know what's up, Jeff. Hey. Yeah. Sorry. I'm looking out for people here oh yeah true yep yep that's the sound of an old ferrari horn right there it's the italian horn has a unique sound bye ted bye siri yep <laughs> that that should get in some views so this one will come in here separately too with so yep gts it's old school ferrari Had to show them you shifting the gears. Gated shifter, man. Yeah. Nothing like a gated shifter. Nothing, nothing like it. Here we go. Ooh. I know you said it had some some things with a certain sounds, but it actually but it still sounds pretty good. Sounds like a Ferrari. Yep. 30, Our, Thirty-two years old and still sounds like a Ferrari. It sounds. It definitely sounds like a Ferrari should sound perfect sound too and and nothing better like it you know i love showing off one of the things i always love when i show off a ferrari gotta show off the, always show off the prancing horse on the wheel yeah there's just nothing like it you know Ooh. of course now this part we've gotta just put it in neutral so that way we are not running into uh, any of the cars in front of us i could never drive a stick shift but <laughs> whoo Oh, you are missing out. I know. That's why I want to learn how to drive stick shifts so I can drive cars like that. Whew. Especially like even with Dodge Vipers too. Like, you know, like like Sean has too. Oh, that's a lot of car. Yeah, V10 That'd engine. That'd get me in trouble real quick. And this is a this is a V8 in the back, right? It's a V8. Yeah. Uh, it's an 87. So uh, back in those days, V8s had about 270 horsepower that was about it 270 horsepower that's it now it's not a very heavy car though so yeah but it's but it still can haul but it can still can go pretty fast fast enough like what gear do you need it to hit 100 like do you need it like in the fourth gear the second not second gear for sure i might be able to hit it in third gear if i if i redline it yeah and this is a uh three a 32 year old car and its direct competition was a Porsche 911. 911, huh? Back in the day, uh, and these handle better because mm -hmm. it's mid-engine. Mid-engine, and it's a uh, it's just, this is a five-speed, right? Five-speed. Five, yeah, because the top one right there is obviously reverse. Yeah, and... it's a dog leg first gear, so that's first gear. Yeah. Uh, and I have been told it's because in racing you never go less than second gear second gear to third gear is really easy yeah so hey that's a nice little julia in front of us too but whoo but yeah it's so cool riding and and getting to ride in these old school cars you know what i mean whoo i mean can imagine riding cars like like this you know the countach and uh There's 308 model Romeo in front of us that's brand new a julia and, uh but it just kind of looks like every other car now yeah just a normal it's like a lot of those Alfa Romeos and Maseratis are just really popular now. They're just, I mean, they're starting to show up all over the place. Like, especially Maseratis. I've been seeing a lot of Maseratis in the Puyallup area. Listen to that sound. That is awesome. And there's a Tesla about to cut us off. Yeah, Teslas are okay. Yeah. That car will smoke just about any car. Yeah, for real. I've seen some of the videos of these Teslas smoking Lamborghinis too. Ooh. It's a nice little Mustang Cobra right in front of us. 
You ever seen an SVT Cobra R before? I have not. No? Nah. Mm -hmm. <sighs> now the 328, that, I mean, wasn't, I mean, the outside look almost looks kind of like Magnum PIs, Correct. but. It, it's it's the model that came after the 308. Yeah. And uh, uh, Magnum PI actually used, I believe, three different 308s over yeah. the course of all the filming. This is basically the end of the, the end of the three X8 series uh, that started uh, back in the what mid 70s with the 308 GT4. Yeah. And it has the same frame. Uh, it just evolved all the way up to 1989, um, and ended with the last four years of being the 328. Mm -hmm. 328 is basically a redo of everything Ferrari learned about the 308 and pretty much fixed. Nice. Uh, which was kind of nice. It's a lot more reliable than the 308 ever was. So what do you go to for your parts? Uh, all over. Internet's your friend. Yeah. Uh, I happen to have a good friend that's also a a a longtime Ferrari mechanic. And uh, and he gives me advice on on where to get parts uh, if he does if he can't get the part for me. Oh, that's cool. It's always good to have friends and that know there's that know they're in high places and with knowledge of the right parts to get to maintain a Ferrari especially especially a 30 year old one like a 328 GTS or a 308 yeah. what, what really surprises me just how much these these older cars have appreciated in value uh, yeah I never I didn't buy it for that I bought it because well I frankly fell in love with this model car 27 years ago uh, and I told myself I'd have one someday it took me 20 years and yeah I'm Hopefully, maybe it's some 20 years from now. Hopefully, when I'm if I get that IT degree, then I'll be back on track with it and be on my way to hopefully owning one of these. Well, perhaps you can. Hope uh, or whatever is the the equivalent car when that happens. Yeah. Uh, It'll now, this this car. Let me tell you a little bit more about this car. This car has no computers in it at all. Nope. There's no assist. There's this doesn't even have anti-lock brakes. That came in the last year and a half of this model. Mm. Uh, but there, there's no power steering. Uh, the brakes are vacuum assisted. Uh, so they're not, they're not really power brakes. Uh, the only powered things in this car are the windows and the mirrors. Mm. <laughs> so uh, it, it's very much a driver's car. A car that you really have to learn how to drive. Yeah. And, and but I've taken this car everywhere, all the way around Mount Rainier, uh, all the way up to uh, Whistler, BC, and back. Whistler. In the pouring rain. In the rain. And, well, I had no choice. I was already there, and it pouring rain on me. Uh, so, who? How do you wash this car when you know it has, when it goes through weather like this? Because you just wash it. I mean, you just take it easy. With uh, the, the paint on this particular car has never been repainted, so mm -hmm. you have to just take it easy. Don't rub too hard. Use a lot of soap. And uh, I mean, Vic. Vic told me when he washes his uh, 430 Scuderia, he uses like two buckets. Two oh yeah, buckets. absolutely, two buckets. Yeah. Yeah. Always gotta learn from the from the professionals that know how to keep these. I'm a professional, but uh, I've learned something over my years of owning cars. True. Uh, I will say the the new uh, ceramic based uh, polishes or protectants are so much better than wax. Yeah. Uh, my friends over at Metropolitan Detail gave me some really good advice on some product from CarPro, and I'll never go back to wax again. Ah. Uh, uh, and that's what keeps this black metallic paint in such good condition. Mm. Uh, and this particular car is, yeah, as far as I've been able to find out, is one of 12 cars that's got black metallic paint, tan leather with black carpets. All right. Uh, it's a special order car by the first owner, and thank God for that because the Ferrari I wanted was not going to be red. Oh, uh, you want so you didn't I want to stand anything, out. Anything but red. 
Yeah, usually Ferraris are known for red. If I were to get a Ferrari, I would be one of those guys that just goes for the red, but I would definitely be careful driving it around, especially when there's cops on the at road. Least back in, at least back in the day yeah. when these cars were new, yeah. the U.S. dealerships invariably, invariably just had red. We turning here? Yeah, we're turning inside of the Bentley dealership. Where, here? Yep, yep, right in there. Anyway, that's that. The end of the day, I was at British Car Day, so if you guys like the ride and... Make sure to mm. make sure to subscribe, like, subscribe, ring the bell for notifications, and I'll get this up as soon as I can. Thank you, Jeff, for letting me for taking me back to my car and let me ride in, finally ride an older Ferrari. Thank you, sir. All right, Where's catch your car right there, that green oh, Honda. All right, there we All go. right catch y'all later.